Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will try to show you how to create a so-called zoomable view in React Native. Um, and uh, as you can see I already wrote some code here and uh, just to explain what a zoomable view is. So say you have an image, you have a list of images. If you click that image you may get like a close up a big picture of that image and then you would be able to zoom here and move around and uh, today we will try to implement that so as you can see on the left I on the right even I have my app here and on the left we have the listing image we have a listing image list and that would be uh, this flat list here you see first part we have flat list and uh, if we click on one image it's going to trigger the modal which is here and so far we can click on it and uh, have a look around but we can not actually zoom or do anything so uh, I'm going to show you how we can do make the zoomable view in two ways and the first way um, is the uh, more difficult one or the one that takes the longest time but I um, think it's healthy for everybody to kind of know how it works so let's start off by implementing the zoom. So in order to do that, I'm gonna import um, the pinch gesture handler from React Native gesture handler. And if you have any type of navigation in your app, you probably have React Navigation installed and also this library installed. So that should be cool. Otherwise, um, React Native also has a library to do this, but I'm just going to use the pinch gesture handler since it's supposed to be more performant when it comes to animations. But yeah, let's uh, let's have a look here. So now we have the pinch pinch gesture handler. So now we can wrap our image in that one, and now we can add animated to our image. Okay, I need to remember to import animated. So I'm gonna go up here, import it, and save. Okay, cool. So this pinch gesture handler takes in a prop, and that's the on gesture event. And here I'm just gonna point on the event that's gonna handle the pinching. Okay, so I'm gonna call this variable handle pinch and I'm going to go up here and define that so const handle pinch now how does this method look so um, I'm just gonna do animated and then access the event prop here and inside event uh, it takes an array okay and inside an array it takes an object and this object um, have the native event key and in here we can define what attribute we're looking to to change so in our case if you want zoom we are looking for the scale prop okay now here on the right side, I need to um, assign my variable for s the scaling part. So I'm just going to define that here. So let's define scale to be a ref in this case. And the reason why we're using a ref is because we don't want the state and the page to re render all the time when we're doing animations. So in here, we can do new animated that value, put in zero. And then at the end of react use ref, I can do dot current. Then I don't need to write dot current everywhere I'm using scale. So that's kind of like a little neat thing. So now we can say scale equals scale. I'm just gonna do the shorthand and remove it completely. Okay, like this. So now we have the handle pinch, we have the pinch gesture handler, we have the animated wrap of our image now we just need to add the styling 
and uh, we do that here in this style prop here here we can add since we are trying to scale we can add transform and transform takes an array and here we can add in scale we also need to wrap transform in an object here now let's uh, just put the scale value to one here instead of zero otherwise we won't be seeing anything to begin with so um, now after adding the pinch gesture handler and the styling here we can actually hold down the option key and start zooming and that's working quite well we don't have any max or min zoom we can zoom as crazy as we want and uh, yeah at this point we can't move the image either so if you want to focus in on something that's on the top right top left or whatever we are not able to for that we need some some extra gestures in here and i'm going to show you just how we can go from left to right how that's done and um, once again we need to grab a handler here from react native gesture handler and this time is the pan gesture handler and I'm gonna wrap that one in this view so pan gesture handler like this and um, just to uh, make sure we don't error out I'm gonna add animated to this view even though I won't apply any styling to it so if the ch the nearest uh, child of a gesture handler is not don't have the anime keyword it might um, error out with some weird error so for now I'm just adding this one to the view here okay so just with the pinch gesture handler we also need to add a on gesture event here for the pan gesture handler so I'm gonna do handle pan and I'm gonna go up here once again and then define handle pan so again I'm gonna be using animated.event and same structure as before we take an uh, oh we actually take an uh, array here and inside the first element we want to access native event and then the property we want to change and for native event I'm gonna access translation x so not translate x but translation x okay and i want to assign that to a new value i'm just about to define here so let's go up here let's call it translate x once again we want to use a ref here so i can copy paste this one and i'm just going to put it to zero to begin with and then assign it here okay that's our handle pan and um, I want to add another one just to show you guys something here so apart from the native event we can add a listener so I believe here we can add a listener and just try to log out things here so let's see hello e native event so E would be the first thing exposed here, okay? Oh, so I actually need to add this listener to the second um, parameter here, so outside this array. Here, inside here, yes. So also my IDE will say that there's a listener here, so let's add it here. Let's console e native event, okay? And then there's actually another thing I want to add to the configuration, and that is use native driver. I just want to set that one to true. That should um, give us um, some more smooth animation, okay? So now that's set up. So let's try to see if we start dragging things that it will print to the console. So let's open up Chrome here and 
Yeah, you can see I'm holding my uh, finger down right now. I'm moving across this image and uh, you can see I'm getting all these events here. And uh, what is a little tricky here is that it's not called translate X, it's actually called translation X. And the uh, same for Y. The Y axis is called translation Y. So just uh, make sure you're aware of that. So let's go back here and um, let's add the styling. So inside our style tag here for our animated image, we want to add translate X here. And uh, since this variable is also called translate X, we can omit that part and uh, yeah that should be all let's see if we can uh, pinch stuff now so yeah seems to work oh sorry that's not pinch this is the pan so we can move stuff around we can zoom we can move we can zoom okay this is better now there's still a bunch of things that needs to be implemented so you can see here as I'm zoomed in I'm starting to move stuff I'm getting a little bit of a jank here. So let's say I'm over here, then I start dragging again. I'm immediately back in the middle. So there's some logic that needs to save um, save my um, um, coordinates basically after I uh, move stuff around and zoom. And also we need some kind of min max zoom so we can't do stuff like this like this is not very relevant because if we are in this window we expected that we can zoom in but necessarily not zoom out like this okay now all this takes quite a while to implement so instead of doing all that I'm going to show you a different way you can do it okay so for that I'm actually gonna use a third party package, a package that I recently found. I wasn't aware that it existed. So let's remove our handlers here. And let's make this view an image just back to a normal image and view. Let's remove this extra styling here. Let's remove our pinch handler. And let's remove our pan gesture handler. Let's save it. And let's remove this logic. Remove everything. Okay. Now we're back to scratch, right? So let's move these imports as well. And let's import a package here. So we can import a React Native Zoomable View from. And this path is pretty long, but I'm going to leave a link in the description for this package React Native Zoomable View from DU Digital. Okay. And we can basically now just add this component as a child of our view here. So I'm just going to copy paste from my other project because it takes a ton of props in here. Okay, let's remove this image part, move it down. Okay. Now it seems like we've got an error here, but uh, let's uh, let's have a look at what we got. So um, this React Native Zoomable view takes a max and a min zoom. It takes a zoom step and initial zoom. And then I have this capture event set to true. And the reason I set this to true is because I'm inside a model here. And if you don't set this to true, you might get some some issues basically. So it appears I got an error and that's because I need to specify a little more here where we can import this component component from so inside source 
and then inside react native symbol view okay now let's uh, let's have a look so if i'm opening up the listing here click on the image and then i get my zoom i can't get further out because i set the max zoom to 1.5 I mean the minimum zoom to one, sorry. That's why we can't get further out. And it's 1.5, so I can actually zoom much closer than this seems like. Yeah, and um, if I zoom in, I should also be able to see, I can also move around, pop up and down. And when, I'm zo when I zoom and continue to move around, I'm in the spot that I previously was in. I don't get um, transported to the middle. So all this logic is taken care of with this little neat package here. Okay, so uh, yeah. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, leave it a like and I'll see you in the next one.